Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is your good buddy, Delton. Welcome to the Nine Pound Hammer. Um, this is a little bit a different video. I kind of teased to it last night um, that uh, I might do a cooking video or, or a dozen or so. So today I am making dinner uh, for me and um, a couple of friends. And uh, the request was meatloaf. So, as some of you know, I used to own a few restaurants and a catering business. And on Sundays, we had um, all you can, well, it wasn't all you can eat. We had uh, our, our, my meatloaf, which we would always sell out. I would make probably 100 pounds of meatloaf, um, and every one of them would be sold out. That's in a, uh, yeah, it, it was nuts. It would sell out before 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I am going to do a simplified home version of my meatloaf that I call Crock-Pot Meatloaf. No oven required, just simply do it in your Crock-Pot, you mix it in the Crock-Pot bowl, and voila, you in three hours you have meatloaf. And uh, so hopefully, uh, let's see here if I can turn the camera and show you some of the ingredients. So there we have our Crock-Pot, I have a five pound, five pound log of ground beef and i just see that that is 7327 i really like to use 8020 darn it i grabbed the wrong log oh well uh here we have a dozen and a half eggs we're only going to use a dozen eggs i have some old bay hot seasoning you can obviously season it to taste i have a bottle of red stripe jamaican lager and uh, some Progresso Italian breadcrumbs. Um, so that's... Oh, and the ragu. Uh, a lot of people cover their meatloaf with ketchup or whatever. I do not. Uh, I like an Italian type of meatloaf, so I use ragu. It's super easy, super simple. Um, so, without further ado, let's get to mixing. I completely forgot to start the camera back up. So, uh, new gloves, as we want to never touch our face, and I did notice in the previous clip that uh, I had scratched my nose, uh, so I threw those gloves off, grabbed another set, and then I started mixing, and then I realized, oh crap, I didn't turn the camera on. So, now, I have new gloves again, and we are going to continue mixing. So, we have uh, about a third of the bottle of Red Stripe in there, a dozen eggs, five pounds of um, ground beef, and almost a complete container of the Progresso breadcrumbs. There's only probably about a half a cup left. And depending on the, the viscosity uh, or the moisture level of the meatloaf as I get it mixed, uh, we may need to add some more um, breadcrumbs or some more beer. You want to keep, you don't want it, you don't want it to where it's too loose and it starts to, you know, gravity starts to pull it down and flatten it. You want it to stay firm, but yet you don't want it too dry where it's like, uh, like chalk almost. So you want, you want a good, good mixture. Hopefully that makes sense. So I just take it, I squeeze it through my fingers like, like a kid playing with Play-Doh, right? And obviously you don't have to use Old Bay hot seasoning. I, I, I like spicy stuff. Uh, some people don't. Obviously you just use salt and pepper to taste. Or any other. Uh, you can use garlic. Which I do put. Um, sometimes I put a little garlic salt in. Uh, but I just put uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. Plus the, uh, the Old Bay. And I feel that, that is, that's going to have enough salt in it. To bring out the flavor that uh that i like so and uh my friends who are coming over they they like it as well so you also want to mix it really good uh you don't want clumps of of the uh breadcrumbs to to gather up and you get, bite into it later and there's just a pocket of dry bread powder which is horrible all right see how that's all coming together 
So here's what I do. I form it. The, my my crock pot is like a football. It's shaped like a, a giant football. So what I do is I start to I smash it all down to where it's level in the crock pot. I think I feel that I have a pretty good consistency uh, in the moisture in it. So I flatten it where it's completely full at the bottom. There's about two and a half inches of space from the top of the crock pot. And then I take my hands and I go along the side and I just start to form the loaf. I just grab it by the sides and squeeze it. And I just let it sit for just a minute, just to make sure that my moisture level is consistent, it's not too wet, and it doesn't start to collapse. So seeing it sit there, I don't see it moving at all. I have a nice two to two and a half inch gap in the center, um, which is what I like. Let me show you there. So you see the gap on either side. Now I do let it touch on the ends. Some people like the the end pieces of meatloaf just like they like the the ends of they like pizza crust or they like uh, you know the burnt ends of of uh, brisket or or whatever. So uh, I leave it there. I like the ends. And then what I do is I'll, I'll, put, I'll take my, my finger and I'll poke just three holes in the middle. Then I take my gloves off. There's a trick to the glove taking off. So you grab it like, like that. And then you never have to touch the soil glove. So now I come back, I open my large, uh, this is a 66 ounce or four pound, two ounce uh, jar of ragu old world style sauce. And I literally pour it along the sides into the holes. And then I completely cover it. And this, this works out perfectly. This size jar, five pounds of meatloaf, a dozen eggs, uh, a canister of uh, breadcrumbs and about a third of a beer absolutely perfect I seal it or turn it off I turn it on high plug it in it's already plugged in and uh, that's it it let it sit for three hours so that's my uh, simple recipe for crock pot meatloaf and in three or so hours, it'll be done, and uh, I'll show you the results. See you in a bit. In the meantime, I'm probably going to go live after Jeebus' auction. See you tonight, or see you in a second. You know what I mean. You'll see me. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my kitchen. So, crock pot has been going for about three and a half, four hours. It's got, it's bubbling real good on the sides. That's when you know it's generally about done. So we are going to go ahead and cut into it. Commander Kirby has decided to join me for dinner this evening. Say hi, Commander Kirby. Hi, Commander Kirby. So I'm going to cut into this and I'm going to serve it. I also made my homemade um, creamy mashed potatoes, but um, that will be a video for another day. All right. Let's see how we look here.
now that I'm doing this on camera, it'll be the first time this like explodes in my face or something. Yeah. I'm recording, yes. This will be enough for Commander Kirby for about four meals as he has a very, very small stomach nowadays. This is the smallest piece I could cut for you, sir. Thank you. Yep. All right. The end piece is always the hardest. That is enormous. And that's it, you get about uh, 10 or 12, maybe uh, half pound slabs out of it. And uh, I'll put it on low or on warm, let it cool down slowly. And I'll put the, once the pot cools down then I'll put it in an ice bath in my sink and then uh, I'll portion it out put it in uh, Tupperware uh, and then put it in the freezer and have it whenever I want all right so thanks for watching this is uh, not a storage unit or treasure hunting or auction video whatsoever just something completely random I decided to do today hope you all uh, find it useful or Maybe use the recipe. Um, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, look forward to reading them. And you all have a blessed day. And we will see you tomorrow night at the auction.